Hi, my name is Brad McIntyre, and I am the writer and one of the performers in the show Dinosaur and Robot Stop a Train. And I'm here to talk to you today about a very grave concern, publicity photos. If you've seen the publicity photo for our show Dinosaur and Robot Stop a Train that I perform alongside Mr. Jeff Swearingen, you will notice that I'm wearing a pie tin hat. Q photo. This is because the publicity photo for the show was taken back in April, even though the show didn't go up until June. Uh, I had to fashion a very quick, very fast, and very affordable robot costume on the fly. So this is all about how you too can make a robot costume at home for cheap. First thing you need, a pie tin. Just a uh, regular pie tin. Uh, this one was laying around the house. and. Uh, to kind of make pies in the kind of aluminum pie tin so there you go uh, the next thing you're gonna need is some antennae these antennae I got at Party City uh, they were originally for a costume for a bumblebee and I put aluminum foil wrapping around the the balls uh, that, that flop at the top and uh, so now I have robot antennae that's the plural for antenna all you're going to do is poke a hole in the pie tin, which as you can see, I've already poked a hole in this pie tin. And uh, you're going to feed the uh, antennae through. Okay. You're just going to put it on your head. And boom! Look at that. I now have a robot helmet. Kind of adjusted here on my head. Instant robot helmet. All that I would need is the sunglasses that go with this, and I am a robot. On the cheap, pie tin helmet, publicity photo. So, as you can see, I have a pie tin helmet on, and in all seriousness, if you want to make a pie tin helmet too, just follow these easy steps. Or come see the show, where I will not be wearing a pie tin helmet to symbolize a robot. I have actually made a very intricate cardboard robot costume. This has been a public service announcement from your friend, Brad McIntyre. <laughs> I can't believe I'm shooting this video. Um,